My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. I see Winterhold off in the distance. We might as well go while we're here. Look out. And a giant one at that. Sure, I must have missed it. I must have had something here. All right, here we go then. I can't move. an adversary up ahead of us. I think we need to sneak from here. Come on. There, that 
that snow ghost. Mead, mead, mead. Kill him to get some beer every now and then. See you. They took the fight down here. Bandit is still alive. single-handedly took down all of these creatures. I don't think I can ever let you out of my service. Hmm, look at all these frost salts. And a freeze bomb. Now, let's see if we can get to Winterhold. Sky Shard. There's something over here, Bandit. Let's check it out. 
It's a beautiful day. The sun obscured by the snow, I can exist out here indefinitely. Wait. Ah, it's hidden. According to the map, this is Journeyman's Nook. There's someone inside, drawing a knife. This should be fun. Thirsty. It's time to quench this thirst. Double feed. It's nice to have food so conveniently located. Now, what do we have here? It looks like a skill book. It's an interesting fact about alchemy. a treasure map. I'll add that to the rest of my collection. Hmm? All right, let's go. All right, there's a bear down there. Be careful. Here we are, winter hold. And what happened? 
happened to the bandit. Oh, all right. Let me slip on something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> all right, bandit, I'll meet you inside. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You there? Are you in Thea? Yes, yes. What is it? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, no. I know someone who might. Really? The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Hmm. I've encountered that bitter old man. I know what you mean. What can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Hmm, I can understand that. And just how did you meet him? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when... He made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? <laughs> and why did Gallus scribe his journal in Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. And where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. And what exactly is a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So, they were like your kind? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. And what drove them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. <laughs> you appear to despise them. Why shouldn't I? The Falmer have killed more than a fair share of my acquaintances. They're animals. They show absolutely no pity or remorse. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. All right, then. Good day. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Hmm. I'm well aware. Who is this creeping around in a black outfit? My curiosity is getting the better of me. 
You. Let's hear it. Huh. Just some old wizard. All right, then. Yes, all right. Hmm. The bandit didn't come inside, or did he? No. All right, then. Yeah, he's still there on his horse. I need to get him off the horse because if we travel to Markarth, he might lose his clothing. Good day. What's a fair maiden like you doing up here in such a cold place? I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Hmm, very well. And what do you have for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. of an ebony greatsword compared to a skyforged sword if tempered could possibly be more powerful I'll hold on to it for now Right. Good day. Good day to you. It just occurred to me, maybe I should ask you a few questions. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. I see. And do you get much business up this way? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. You said something about a bad deal. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. What was the story? Some line about this claw thing in Ingolbero. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I could look into it for you. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Very well, I'll take the claw. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing, it's not my fault. Got it? 
But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Of course. And don't worry about my death. So why set up shop here? Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Mm. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Mm. Yes, good day. Sorry for your troubles. Ah. Ah. Well, it looks like that snowstorm has passed. All right, can I get this man off the horse? Thank you. All right. Now we need to travel. To Morthal. Markarth. Hmm. We're traveling to Markarth. Well, look at the water. And that golden glow. It's amazing. It must be the sun. All right, let's see what we've got. Speak with Calselmo. You want a cup of venison or mutton? Of course you do. But before we do... Redguard Crap. Hmm? Every... What can I do for you? I believe this young woman might be able to help me out. My daughter died. Things won't be the what? same without her. No, your daughter, how did that happen? The city looks so ancient, have you been here long? My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here, I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Hmm. What have you got for sale? Beautiful things for beautiful people. Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. Inden lost his daughter. I wonder how this happened. Inden? My daughter died. I know. Things won't be the same without her. How? Hmm, that's too bad. I have silver to that. Bloody is beef in the reach. Wish there was something we could have done, bandit. I hate to see a Red Guard family suffer like that. Staying safe, I hope. All right, let's go and talk to Calcelmo. Hmm, interesting. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? See anyone? Look, I've told you about three times that I don't know anything about the house. I'm just a visitor here. a connection between that uh, vendor and Calcelmo. Being a vampire and having psychic abilities definitely comes in handy. All right, bitter old man. Look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. 
I think this is. I have a delivery from Kira. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now, you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? People seem to like that, I notice. Mm, it's a wonder you even notice that. I hear you're the authority on the ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work. Preposterous! That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Hmm. But I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. What? Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. I can't believe it. Grant me access or you'll regret it. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. I don't believe it. He's resisting my charm. What will it cost to change your mind? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. Hmm. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. No one has ever resisted me. Ever! Let me see, do I have some sort of potion I can use? Doesn't look like it. There's nothing I can do to increase my persuasion. But wait, what's this? That brat ain't mine. Could be anyone. A key to the museum. We need to distract him so I can steal it. I'm reduced to stealing. Well, I am in the Thieves' Guild after all. All right, let's go. Those are college kids. Do your smarts. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Dwemer Museum? It means Dwarven Museum. Lost race of people that built this city. You want to know more? Ask Chalcimo. He's usually in front of the ruins, just down the tunnel. Oh, oh. always have to fight back. All right, thank you. I'll be sure to ask him the next time I see him. Inside. I'm con 
concerned about my persuasive and, and intimidation abilities. They seem to be failing me. I wonder why. All right, bandit. It's time for us to explore this museum. Let's go.